today here um, with another set. Um, if you haven't noticed, the Super Mario sets are coming out with this new wave of stuff. I'm going to try out getting the, the sets, at least one of the sets. And I looked up which set I should get. The, the buyers say you have to get one set, the Star Course, I think it's called. Yeah, it's the one that comes with the Mario. And it's like with batteries and stuff, skin codes, move around, cool. So I'm gonna go check out that one. I'll give my opinion, see if I get some more money for Christmas or my birthday, or send some money for the other expansions that you can get. Little power suits for Mario, and little character packs. But besides that, I'll go see, check it out. Um, when when the video is out, you can go check it. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. So yeah, we'll still get served the review. So yeah, um, this is the the third Harry po the the second Harry Potter set. Um, now it's seven the set number is seven five nine five six and it's called the quidditch match there's 500 pieces and it's for ages 7 to 14. i'm old enough so um we have the like the picture and then this box is bigger than my other harry potter set that i reviewed don't forget to check that one also and you have the hogwarts here you got everything and then we got here there are some things you haven't noticed that are in the box for example like this base plate i put here this invisible piece i use that to make a good display also you see that um i'll get to it in a minute about the thing when i when i gotta show the mini figures but yeah um here here's the set number again and it has some more play features you can rotate the thing so you can put snape on fire but he doesn't die though from fire because he takes out with a water spell. But here's like the blaster cannons. You can move the guy with the invisible piece over here, which is very cool. You can have the bump, the, the guy that shoots. You can have them go through the tents, four houses, Gryffindor, Sly Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Those are the four houses in Hogwarts. And here are like three gold posts. I was kind of left out that I, the, this thing should have been bigger, I feel like, because if you see in the actual thing, there's more like tents and stuff, and there's another goal post over there. Maybe you can buy two, but you you'll have a lot more players. Great thing also, and you get an extra Snape and Hermione, where you can just give them to somebody else. But besides that, you got the, like the full premium version. But you can still stay with this one. Got Harry Snitch. That I'll talk about in a minute. Um, the cup, the treasure chest, and we'll build over here. The besides. And then you can change out the things over here, count the points. But yeah, um, I'll actually just show the features in person right now. Cause, but before, we'll start with the figures. So let's zoom in and start getting ready in here. So here we have um, Manny Granger. She's an exclusive. Well, kind of, but you get her in another set that's way, that's way more expensive in the Hogwarts uniform. And it's great. These ones are in too many sets, only two, I think. Or not two, but there's more. But it's nice to get these cool ones, especially in another color from my brows of Voldemort, which I only got, like, um, I think, white and brown. And over here, she has um, the hair and the face that kind of looks like the, the some of the figures, I think, from the Great Hall and the Whomping Hollow, I think. I can review those in the future. But the hair piece... You got the short legs because it's from year one and two. The Gryffindor print for the uniform. It's the only one that has the uniform. The others have are different. And then you have the one that can move. And then, yep, a little tie right there and a happy face. And then a scared face when something bad happens or Slytherin wins and Gryffindor loses. But yeah, that's the back. And we'll just put it here in the Gryffindor. Um, tent over here in the wild and then we got our second figure which is kind of cool he's in two sets kind of like Hermione it's Severus Snape and we get the black ones which is nice to get you can use this if you're making custom death eaters I know me I'm making some custom death eaters but yeah um has the long hair I think this is for Kylo Ren too or I don't know really who else uses it, but it's not a very common hairpiece. Um, I'll show it better now. I'm finished talking. Um, here's an angry face. Got this from Karen too. It's the little robe there. But this is different though. It has purple. It's 
like a jacket. I would wish they included black tape. You can add that to make like a custom snape with that. I still got the wand. Um, I'll just switch to the next face so you can see. It's more like a concerned face or like, hmm, kind of face over there. So it's nice to get Snape. You can also get him in a Hogwarts activity book also, I think, but you get more figures here. You can also get him the one big logo, which I think is more $20 more expensive about. I mean, this I was good at a deal, so that's why I was thinking of getting that Snape figure. Here we have Quidditch Harry, which is right now here floating. Next to me was the boomstick. Also, as the other two figures, there was wants for their accessories. This is a long cape. So it says um, his um, short legs are shorter than the others. His cape looks more kind of like bigger to him. But yeah, um, this is the same one as the Oliver Wood figure that I will show in a minute. And he has the glasses and the little scar here. A new, new hair piece that's shorter than the other one, which was a little long for Goblin of Fire. But here it is from the officer still. This is it's nice to get. This kind of looks similar like the Tri Wizard Maze uniform I got with the Rise of Voldemort, but nothing too much. He kind of copies the next character that I'll show right now. Um, he also has the Snitch. Um, snitch is used for the other ones. Reason though is I didn't know how to like really put this on display or anything, so I kind of put it in a bin for now, but. Well, I'll tell you in a minute exactly why, but we're here to show the figures. Um, yeah, and the snip and the snitch can get lost easily, and I, I'll be moving, so I was thinking of it just putting, but it's just a little plastic piece. I'll show you right now if you want to, to see the snitch. Maybe not in person, but it's here on the box, I think. Um, it's a little plastic piece, so you can hold the hand with a little pull connection right there. Like too much, but it's a cool piece to get. I mean, sorry if I couldn't display it right now, but okay. Here's Oliver Wood guy using the same uniform as Harry, the longer legs, of course, and the broom. This is a very common face piece I see for some rebel troops in Star Wars sets. Kind of left out that they didn't put something exclusive. I feel like this hair piece, though, is kind of cool. I think they used this for Barry Crouch in, in the earlier Harry Potter sets, I think. Earlier, yeah. and yeah, he's cool to get. Nothing too much. I just wish that face print was a little bit good. Marcus Flint, though, um, did it good. He's not like a iconic character, but he's in one part. Looking bold, this guy. I haven't seen him, but I do know that this is Marcus Flint. That teeth. If we take a close look, on um, this broom is actually black. For like, these are the Nimbus 2000s, I think, but this is from the first year, so they don't have Nimbus 2000s, but these look like ones, because they're like black. But this one has a shooter on it, which you can shoot and play a little game that will tell me, which is kind of cool with the set, and obviously with the other sets. And here you get him, the whole like Dr. Octopus Spider-Man, kind of like it. It looks like a kind of like a scientist mush mushroom, kind of looks like a little mushroom kind of haircut. I would say that kind of like style, which it looks like a mushroom. Cool. Though, I don't think this hair piece is too accurate. It just makes his hair look fluffy. And now I'll show the figure in person right now. He only has one face print with his big teeth that he has, like in the movie. Just two big butt teeth, this leather cape. These are actually softer than um, regular capes. So it's just very, 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 very nice um, to get. And also we have the the slithering uniform for the quidditch and we have the white pants and it's nice also um we have our final figure which is looking good he uses the same thing as marcus not that he doesn't have a shooter though but he does have an extra accessory which is like this little like bat something to knock down somebody maybe in the games and his spiky cool brown hair piece which is nice Cool dude, I didn't see him. Lucian Bowl. Lucian Bowl. Lucian Bowl. I don't know how to pronounce that. But here he is. He has a little show in person right now. Here is the shocked face. <gasps> we just lost. Or you can change the face into the, a happy face. I see this guy making a costume Draco and using this face. A happy face. But yeah. 
near the dollar sign use that hair piece. I don't think it really suits for Draco, but okay. Um, we'll start. If you want to not see this base plate anymore, we'll just take it off now. So we can actually just show it. But yeah, well, it was a big base plate I had from some of my um, building, from building pieces that I got from some of my first sets or a gift. But um, here's the treasure chest build, which is nice. I think you can and get this in the night bus too. Not too many sets. I think the Great Hall, but some other sets. I think this is um, a cool one. Um, I was saying the shooter over here, they come with an extra one, so you can just put it there. There's two. I can put the other one out. Oops. Yeah, um, there's two of these that come in, so you can put like two in here. There's one that was just out. And Gwitch Cup stand right here. You can also, um, I think, put maybe the Golden Snitch or this bat or any accessory in there. Whatever you want. Um, but this thing doesn't come in the set, though. This thing is just for the this lack of display. These fly pieces tend to come out very easily in the tent, so before I review the tents or just show them, just so you know, I accidentally knocked down. But um, here's the little Quidditch cup. It's quite. Wish there could be just a little bit of printing. It would be really nice. This looks like a common goblet. See this in the Great Hall, so it's kind of weird. They put it like Quidditch or like a Q for Quidditch stance. But um, yeah, the Rosa here. We'll take out her mind for a second because we'll look at Glen Gryffindor Tower. We are left out that they didn't put this feature, like this little um, cool feature where you can get the players out to, to play. They can, there's some interior right there, some space so they can talk already. The thing is that I, I hope they didn't put it here. I was really left out that they didn't put it here and here. It's, it's good play feature, but it doesn't use any good way. Uh, but here, and then you can come up to the next floor, which is an elevator right here. I um, also wish this was more tense, and you could get, um, with that, you can get more figures. There's usually, like, a Hagrid, a Ron, I, yeah, you can get those in other sets, but I just wish. There was, a, like, a McGonagall and Flitwick over here with a Draco, would have been cool, or a Dobby, so you could switch it to the second movie, spoiler alert. <laughs> And then we have the bench right there, the flag that can fall off easily, and Gryffindor here, which is a different print that's like the blanket, or like a big cloak, or like a huge cloak that says Gryffindor on here, so I can cover up so nobody sneaks in. And then here we have the Slayer one. They're um, disconnected, but I'll show away how you can connect them, because for some reason they have these Technic pins. I uh, was really weird that they just left it there. I feel like you could you could add more of a technique pins that I'll show in a minute that you can do, but it doesn't show in the box. These stickers are good. Make sure you put them on good. They can get dry easily. Um, yeah, these stickers, you gotta put them good. There's a lot of stickers in these sets. They're back into nothing too good. I mean, it's like the same design, but in a different color. But there's one feature that's nice. Let's bring Snape over here or anybody and put him them on fire Hermione does a spell to make Snape distracted somebody's killing Harry but no it was Coral which had Voldemort on, the, on his head on the other side spoiler and yeah um we'll get a little bit more so yeah these on tents are saying this one just has a thing for Ravenclaw because nothing too special here here this one has a plane like the Slayer one um and so we have these two little um, banners over here so you can switch them out for the points. The points things that you can mark. The first one that gets three wins. If somebody gets the um, the the this the the, the 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 snitch, they can um, basically end the game by while that you kinda get into the goals that were shown in the game, but this is like to keep track and there's like so much that will fill up all the points. And then actually extras they include. So yeah, um, we got these cool stickers, these printed, which are kind of, oh no, sticker, I mean, on this we've got, but Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. And on the back is the same space, nothing too special, but real quick, because I wanted to show this. Um, Here's the thing, I think Dobby uses to try and kill Harry, weird with the thing, but here, I think he got the same math minifigures line from 2019, and also, and then this is film recorded at, tw at 2020, 2020. Um, 
They also came out with a four purge ride. They came out with Dom with a smiley face. I mean, you can add them right there. But yeah, um, this little thing over here is some Technic. You can just put it together and play a little game. Let's go get two characters that we need right now. Our Marcus Flint. I'll use Looking Ball because I took off Marcus Flint's hair. I'll just use Looking Ball, but you can put any character on there. You can put, uh, it has to be from a different team, of course, or else. And you have to try to shoot from here at the same time the other person has to duck has to cover here it's kind of like a soccer kind of so you can try to score in there and get your things and here's the thing also as i mentioned this cool little, they put another invisible piece here like it's nice to get invisible pieces um also this is kind of nice gives me like a cool vibe it, this gives me a really good Super Mario vibe, so I can make like a custom quench course. Maybe I could do that for the review, or maybe not, or just that. Okay, um, right before we end the video, um, I want to show you the, the Technic pin connection. You'll need um, four Technic pins. They can be black. I decided to make black, but any color you'd like. And they're just, hey, they have to be connected on two sides, and they have to be on the circular um, things, and you just connect one here and another one here which is two and then you just put it on this side because these are already connected i thought they were uh, already taken out but no they're connected which is great with these and you can just put them together they don't say in the instructions but it's a cool little custom thing you can just add to, um, a little mod which people like to do certainly i think this is really more good this is more accurate they're more like stuck together in the movie they're not like separate buildings so yeah and then also here when the rain goes down here from the roofs it falls down over here and it makes even better roofs and it looks bigger and good but yeah um that's a more accurate version of how we want to do it and then yeah um that's basically all the show about the figures We'll get Marcus Boone's hair, but we'll end the video right here. So, um, next time I will be doing the Mario thing. Might, I might make the custom, yeah, I'll show the custom quench course maybe after. I'll get like about next week. Dad's, my dad's birthday is coming up in two weeks. So, uh, two weeks I will, um, I'll, I'll just, um, maybe make a small post of a happy birthday for your dad. Please give a like to support him for his happy birthday and yeah um so we hope that 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 happened um i think yeah a couple weeks and i'm starting school now as i'm starting school now so um uh, i might have to do those videos but i'll try to do as much as for you guys okay but i think we're gonna do those more on the weekend so stay out for the weekends and please and please um subscribe so you can see all my content and and here is the box again, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos and see you on my next one, okay?